So there is a white man on TikTok who is talking about how black women are masculine and not feminine. How we oftentimes are beautiful, but we don't strive to take care of our men. And um, I, it shows me just how poor of a job our country does at understanding history, teaching history. And so people make ignorant comments like this as if things have happened in a vacuum. We have to look at the history of the United States. Let's first talk about that Black people started in this country as being enslaved by your white ancestors, right? So your white ancestors were living as whole families while our families were ripped apart, first from the continent of Africa, but then when we came here, they would oftentimes rip families apart um, so we would not create bonds, so we would not think about running away together. Um, so that generationally is part of our history. Secondly, when we were enslaved, we were taking care of your white babies. The white mamas weren't doing a whole lot. We were the ones actually even breastfeeding them, cleaning after them and taking care of them. Also, our men worked in the fields, okay? Um, so probably we're not coming home as, as, as excited and rested as the, uh, your white wives who got to chill all day while we took care of everything. Um, but you also said that we were beautiful, but you know, more black men and white men uh, want white women. That's so funny because if you look at me, I'm telling you, I'm the product of all the white masters that were screwing their slaves. Even though they had white women who had baths and powder and clothes at home, they came and slept with us, although we got about one bath a week. Let's also consider the fact that black people were not even allowed. It was illegal for us to get married until about 100 years after white people were getting married. So we didn't even have that possibility. Then once we were able to get married, let's talk about the laws that were created, that it was financially beneficial for us not to have men around. Let's talk about how our black men are unfairly incarcerated and that a black man with a college degree had it will get this equal job as a white man with a high school diploma. So when we're out trying to get a bag, it's not because we're trying to just floss, it's for survival because our black men aren't given, or don't necessarily have the ability to make the money that an unqualified white man does. So we have to work. While we'd love the luxury sometimes to be at home relaxing, we also don't have generational wealth because you have a 400 year head start. So there's no inheritances for us. So the money that you make have to create a wife that's ready to take care of you when we get home we don't look at your history and understand the truth it's not that we're not feminine we absolutely are but we're also riders survivors and thrivers all at the same time